Hey everyone, it's Hitbo TC here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own branded channel intro animation. Yes, that's a mouthful, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make that. We're gonna jump into After Effects. I'm gonna show you how I put my own together. And in addition to that, I'm gonna give you guys an After Effects project file that you can use. It's a template that I've put together. All you need to do is drop your logo, replace some text, and you're good to go. It makes it super easy. I'll even show you guys how to use that at the end of this video. So without further Further ado, let's get started. So here we are inside of After Effects 2019, and I got quite a few things going on here in the timeline, but this is kind of what we're gonna be making today. We got this animation over, the logo comes down, it happens again, and then the text is here with the unique background, and then the animation kind of goes out and goes over a transparent. This will allow you to drop this channel intro over a beginning and an end and kind of keep it all themed and branded. Uh, so let's kind of jump in and, and start this from the beginning. Let's, uh, let's do this. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects. I created a new project because we're gonna create this thing from the beginning. Over here in this folder, I have some assets. So essentially well, all I have here is I created uh, my brand, I, I have a logo here and I have these four boxes for Mixer, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, I'm not on Twitch anymore, but I'm gonna throw that into that project file for you guys because I know a lot of you stream there, so it'll still be available for you and I just kinda wanna show you how to use it. So we have this and then we have this text box here for my, my title, Hitbo TC. So that's kinda what we got going on there. And then over here I have a texture just a dark texture that I use for a lot of my designs. This is kind of branded for me and my channel, but uh, just a texture here, uh, give some background to it. Um, so let's jump into this. So first things first is I'm gonna come up here to composition, click new composition. On this screen, I'm gonna make it HD. So that is just 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna have the duration be 10 seconds and I'm gonna call this intro. Boom, there we go. So this is where all the magic will happen, but uh, before we get any further with this, let's make another composition, and we're gonna call this one transition. 10 seconds is fine, HD, perfect. And I think we are good to go. So let's, let's jump over. So the first thing that we're gonna create is the animation that goes over everything and that will allow us to kind of bring in elements of our logo and our brand and everything to just kind of add this animation. So this is how we're gonna do that. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna grab this rectangle, we're going to make sure it's on a shape layer, make sure we got the fill that we want. So in this case, let's just use like this color, it looks good. We're gonna just draw a rectangle. Pretty simple, not not too complicated here. Uh, I'm gonna extend it out just a tad, about that, that's awesome. I'm gonna rotate this maybe, what do we, 25? 25. 25, so hit R on the rotation, bring it over, 25. So here's what we're gonna do, it's super simple. So I'm gonna animate this shape layer from one side of the screen to the other. So we're gonna take this and bring it over here off screen. I'm gonna hit P to bring up position on this layer. Hit this little guy to start a keyframe. I'm gonna go probably about a second and then just bring it over here. It's that simple. So this is what we got going on. If we hit preview, we've got this little guy. Awesome, right? Well. <laughs> Let's add a little bit more to this. So we're gonna take these two guys and we're gonna add an easy ease. So if you hit F9, or I believe you can right click, keyframe assist, easy ease. And what that's gonna do is if you look at the curve here, it's gonna add a little of a, a slow start and a slow end to it. So it kind of adds a little more, it just makes it look a little more real. Instead of a linear zero to 100%, it'll, It'll kind of bend it and make it feel a little better. So definitely throw that on there. And I'm gonna take this layer and I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna go about 
let's go about five frames and I'm going to move this layer right here. So now we got two layers going on. You can kind of see that nothing crazy is going on. That's all right. We're going to duplicate this again, go another five frames and move this layer there. So now we got three layers going on. This is perfect. Now I'm probably just going to add one more just because and now we really have this this thing that animates across. So this is where you're going to add a little little variety to your shape layer. So I'm going to take this color. I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to make a small tweak just a little bit. And you're going to see this on the animation. Now, now you have this distinction between these two layers. I'm going to go to this third layer. I'm going to do the same thing, maybe this direction, just a little brighter. Perfect. And then that last layer, you know, I'm going to change that. It needs to be a bit more. Let's make it a little darker. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to have that last layer and this first layer be the same color. So it kind of keeps it like that. So that this is how this looks. Perfect. 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 So let's make this a little bigger so you guys see what's going on. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Super cool. Now I'm going to grab all these layers, going to add motion blur to it, make sure that this is checked on. So now we really get this slick animation that's going to work really well for us. Perfect. All right, so let's jump over to that first composition we made, the intro. And we're going to bring in this transition. So I'm going to, first and foremost, let's, let's trim this comp real quick. So we're going to find out the end frame, which is about right here. And I'm going to hit N on the keyboard and then trim comp to work area. So it just shortens it up because we don't need that whole length there. So now over here, I just have this composition. Here's our transition we just made. So I'm going to find the moment in the transition where the whole screen is covered. So in this case, it is right here. And I'm going to add a marker. So I believe if you go up to layer, markers, add marker. Now what that tells me is when this uh, timeline is on this point, this whatever is underneath this layer is completely covered up. So this is perfect. I just need to know when that transition happens because here's here's where the magic happens, right? It's a sleight of hand as it were. So you got this animation happening, which is awesome. I'm going to come over here into these assets and I'm going to bring down my logo, bring down my logo and I'm going to add, I'm going to click this guy. So it always rasterizes. It just makes your logo stay real nice. Um, and something real quick, something I'm noticing is like right here, because we added that motion blur, there's this weird like transparency that's happening. We don't want that. So we're going to jump back into transitions, the transition layer here, and we're going to take all of these guys and we're going to unclick this real quick. And we're just going to extend this by 15% on all of these. So now there's no, there's no gap. We wanted to get rid of that gap. So let's go back here. So now you can see that gap, that weird opacity that we saw is gone. It is non-existent anymore. Okay, so we got this transition, it happens. We're going to trim this logo layer right here. So now there's the logo, no logo, transition, logo. Awesome, super cool. Okay, so let's let's bring some life to this. So we want a background color behind this. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to hit layer, new layer, solid. I'm going to call it BG for background and I'm gonna pick my brand color right there, perfect. I'm gonna move that to the bottom and I'm gonna make sure that this is trimmed right there on that transition period too. So here you go, you got this animating over, you got this right here and I'm going to select my logo, hit S for scale, click here so I can add a keyframe to do some animation and I'm going to scale this guy up. I'm just going to scale it super big. And then when it comes down, I want it to be let's go so we're at 
22 seconds there. Let's go to the end of, maybe let's we'll just start here for the two second mark. And let's go here and let's make this the size that we want. So I want it to be maybe right there. That looks good to me. So this is kind of how it looks. Not bad, we're getting there. So let's add some speed. So I'm gonna go back to these keyframes and I'm gonna add that easy ease again. Let's see what it looks like. Good. Let's let's shorten the speed of this keyframe so it just it goes a little faster because we want everything to feel good. So that that right there feels pretty good to me. And yeah, I like that. All right, now that we have this logo scaling down the way that we want, we want to add some movement so that we can have the logo move over and the text right here. So let us select the logo layer and we're going to hit P for position. And we're going to say at the two second mark, I want you to animate over right there. We're going to select these and we're going to hit easy ease on them again. Just kind of gives it a slick little slide over. So here's what we got going on. Looking good. And we're going to duplicate this transition and we're going to move it over and right there it's going to do that again so let's do one thing though we're going to take this and we're going to flip it so we're going to take this transition hit w for rotation and completely flip it around that way the animation comes from the left instead of the right to add a little bit variety and looking good so right here i want to bring in our text layer so i'm going to jump up here select the text that I created earlier, move this guy over to line up with the transition, and bam, there we go. So let's bring this guy where we want it. So it's going to exist a little like that. Good. Maybe, maybe let's move this guy a little over. So we're gonna go back to this position, move it a little bit over. That looks good that, that way we can just make our text a hair bigger so now that's a little bigger looking good and so let's watch that and the logo comes down text is there awesome now something that i did in the original video is i had a different background when the text was up here so i'm going to show you how i did that so let's jump up here and grab this dark grunge texture. So I'm gonna hit composition, new composition. I'm gonna call this one texture. We're gonna have this be 10 seconds is fine. Click okay. And I'm gonna bring this texture down. So this texture is way bigger than HG. That actually works to our advantage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this text layer, move it over. I'm gonna bring the opacity down about 50%. And I'm gonna hit P for position go 10 seconds all the way to the end and I'm just gonna animate this guy all the way over. So this is kind of what we have going on here. Just the layer animates over, simple. Now it's going a little too fast so I'm just gonna bring it back a little bit. That looks a lot better. Well, you know what, maybe it's still going a little too fast. Let's, let's have it go a little bit less. Okay, there we go. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to take this layer. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to hit P for position. I'm going to turn that off for a second because we're going to do another animation. Hit W to rotate. And I'm going to bring this text layer over here. I'm going to scale it down just a hair. And I'm going to hit P. And I'm going to make this animate the other way. So kind of what we'll have going on is this like moving texture layer background. Pretty cool. Simple, simple. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to go up to layer, new, solid, go to black on the color, click OK, and bring it under. And there we go. There is your textured moving background. Super simple and easy to do. You can do this with any textures, anything. This is just kind of something I do. It fits with my brand pretty good. But you can throw any background here, anything that you want. There's a ton of things that you can use. You can go and purchase your own moving background if you don't know how to make it. And you can just drop it here. Super easy. Anyways, let's jump back into intro. And let's pick up where we left off. So we have the 
transition happening, the logo animating down, it moves over, and right here is where I want that new background to appear. So I'm gonna bring uh, down the texture composition, line it right there, and I'm gonna have it go above the background layer that we created earlier. So now what's gonna happen is when the transition happens, now we see this new background. So let's watch this real quick. Transition, logo, movement, and there you have the text. The last thing we need to do, the very last thing we need to do is we need to animate in our little boxes for these social icons. So I've created them here. So I'm gonna bring down the Twitter, the YouTube, and the Mixer, because that is where you can find your cursed captain here. I'm gonna bring these layers down. And if you notice, they are right here. So let, let's just focus on these for a second. So let's first space these out. So let's pick the order we want. So I want Mixer to start, and then I want it to be YouTube, and then I want it to be Twitter. So something that I'm going to do is if you go over to your alignment tool, you can use distribute, and then you can make it so that it will distribute evenly across these layers if you click this one which is distribute layers on the selection so that the space between these is exact so now that i've done that i'm going to do something that most people don't know to do is i'm going to link these three layers to a null object so what we're going to do come up to layer new null object we're going to move this null object to the center of these three layers move this guy down and we're going to select these three layers grab the Pickwick tool and drop it on the null. What does this do? Well, this null object now controls the movement of these three, which makes it super easy to resize these to match with your text. So I'm gonna scale this down now and move it where I want it, which is right about there. That looks great. Something I'm noticing too real quick is this background's a little too bright for me. So let's jump back over here Let's select the opacity, hit T for opacity, and let's bring it down to 25, maybe 15. That looks a lot better. There we go. Okay, so we have the transition logo and we have transition again with a new background. Now I wanna animate these guys down from behind the text. So we're gonna select these. We're gonna hit P for position. Select these guys to add the keyframes. We're gonna go maybe one second into the future, 30 frames, add another keyframe, and then we're gonna go back to the beginning. So we're gonna say, hey, I want all of these to come down from behind the text right here. So this is kind of what we got going on. So that, they animate down. Not bad, but we can, we can make this a little bit better. We're gonna grab these, keyframe assistant. We're gonna say easy ease. And then we're gonna sequence these layers. So they're not all animating down at the same time. So we're gonna go 10 frames into the future, grab this layer and say, I want you to animate here, go 10 frames again, and then go here. So something, I just made a mistake, I realized. So if you look, the layers are technically not in order. So let's fix that. So this is the second one that needs to go. And then this one's the third. So now if we go 10 seconds, there we go. Perfect. Look at that. So here's what we got so far. Channel animation channel. So here's what we got so far. You got your transition. Your logo animates down. The transition happens again, revealing your new background. And then you got these little social icons that animate down. Super awesome. Super easy to do. So the last piece of this puzzle is we need to create the transition out. So let's pick a frame, let's, let's do seven seconds in. Let's duplicate this first transition. We're gonna bring it over here. And at this marker that we placed, we're going to take all of these layers and we are going to hit Alt and bracket. So it just trims those layers up. So when this transition finishes, it reveals nothing. And there you go. It is that simple. This is a super easy, easy design that you guys can do and you can use it with your own 
your own brands in your own way. So let's let's show you what I've created as far as a template file that you guys will get if you select the link in the description below. I'm giving you guys my project files so that you can just drag and drop your own logos. Real simple, real easy to do. So let's let's jump over to that. All right, so here we are inside of the After Effects template file that you are going to get from me. If you click it in the link below, you can download this and you can use it however you want. I've done some things to make it really easy for you to kind of customize it and use it for your own channel. So I wanna show you kind of how I have it set up to make it easy for you guys to use. So I needed a fake brand to kind of show you how easy it is. I decided to go with pineapples because who does doesn't love pineapples they are awesome so we got this pineapple vector here and I'm creating the pineapple logo so first and foremost the colors here are not gonna work for pineapple we got this very unique let's go back to it we got this like yellow color so let's see what color that is I'm gonna take the eyedropper and this is the color that we got so I'm gonna command copy that and if you notice right here I have a composition called color with a layer called controller. Now I've made it really easy for you to adjust the colors throughout this composition, throughout this file. I have all of these linked here. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna copy and paste this yellow color here. For the color number two, I'm gonna do it again, except I'm gonna make it a little darker. And then for that last color, we're gonna do that again and make it even darker. Maybe actually, yeah, let's, yeah, sure. Maybe a little orange, let's, yeah, that looks good. I like that. Click OK. And now if we go back to render, everything's changed. The transitions change to match our branding. We got this weird thing called logo coming down. I'll show what that does in a second. The transition happens. And then we got all of this happening. So first, let's just kind of show you how it's set up. So if you go over to project under replace, you have these things that you can replace and change for your own. So first things first, let's go to logo. Let's remove these things. Let's bring in our fake brand. So let's jump and grab our pineapple logo. We're gonna scale this up. Look at that, pineapple, that looks awesome. So click this to always rasterize Illustrator files. That's perfect. Let's jump down to text. Now we need to replace this text. We're gonna hide this. I'm gonna call this the pineapple gaming. Oh, look at that. Just make this look a little better. Let's see. Let's select. Let's select a cooler looking font. You know what? Since this, since I got my start in Sea of Thieves, we're going to pick the Sea of Thieves font. Let's go this guy. Oh, wait. Wait for it. Boom. Pineapple. Let's make this a little smaller. And let's bring it over. Pineapple Gaming Co. Come on. That looks good. Let's add a, you can see the transparency here. Let's add a black layer, a black stroke around it. So we're going to select the text. Click here. I want to add a black layer. And if you go down here, I want it to be fill over the stroke. So I want it to just kind of go around it. And let's make it a little bigger. Okay. A little too big Make it a little smaller perfect pineapple gaming co boom now if we go back to render here's what we got going on so we replace the logo and replace the text and the animation happens the logo comes down moves over animation happens again pineapple gaming co and we got these little promote areas here so i'm going to show you how to use those if you double click on promote one you can change this out to pineapple. A little long, so let's grab all of these layers and just move them over a bit, fit inside the composition. Do the same thing with this guy and Twitter, promote to pineapple. Over, so it kind of fits. You wanna, you wanna make sure it stays in the composition. Promote three. Pineapple, move it over, 
boom look at that super easy and then i even threw twitch in there for you guys that use twitch you can use this logo um awesome sauce and let's go to this background so the last thing i want to change is we could do the yellow but i have this pretty awesome picture i'm gonna bring over so let us let's use this picture because who doesn't want to use a picture so let's scale this down Pineapple Gaming Co. needs sunglasses on a beach. All right, so here we go. We animate down, the logo comes down. Now, I, something I notice is it's a little bit big, so I'm gonna jump back into the logo, and I'm gonna just size it down a little bit in this composition. Now, it looks better. So, logo comes down, moves over. Pineapple Gaming Co., look at this, come on. Now something real quick I noticed is it's kind of hard to see what's going on here because the background is so different. So let's go jump into promote and I'm going to create a new layer solid. We're going to call it a black layer and just move it to the bottom. Let's do that. Copy and paste it over here. Move it to the bottom. Copy paste. Move over here. Move to the bottom. Perfect. Now, now we're starting to get somewhere. Now obviously <laughs> You want to tweak this a bit to make it kind of fit a little bit better. But hey, this isn't too bad for a little template you guys can use. Pineapple Gaming Co. Look at that. I want a pineapple. Animates out. Simple, simple. You know, the only thing that I could do to make this a bit better is let us just add a blur to this guy. Add a fast blur. Cause it's a little, it's a little hard to see. There we go. Now if we go here, yeah, that's much better. Way easy to see Pineapple Gaming Co. now. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first of many that I plan on doing. I'm passionate about helping you create, produce, and stream your own content. So I'm gonna be doing a ton of these style of videos in the future. This was just the first one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know in the comments below any other types of things that you guys would love to see in the future. And I will do my very best to create content content for that. And as always, if you have not yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video from your favorite cursed captain. Guys, thanks so much and I hope to see you on the seas. Does that work now? Does that work still? I'll see you guys later.